Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church Manila and Verity Baptist Church Pampanga. Just making a quick video defending Curtis Hudson on the King James Bible issue. Now, Curtis Hudson was a preacher in the 20th century, and he passed away around 25 years ago, and he went home to be with the Lord. And he was a very zealous soul winner, and uh, he took a real strong stand on salvation. And, uh, you know, he's also very zealously King James only. And he's uh, my personal favorite preacher of the 20th century. Um, I listened to a lot of sermons that were kind of life-changing sermons for me that motivated me to go soul winning, helped me understand salvation very clearly, helped me understand in the King James Bible and topics such as that. But one thing I've heard from people is that Curtis Hudson was not King James only. Now, I've always heard this coming from the Ruckman camp because uh, Peter Ruckman and his followers have a very weird version of the King James Bible where they believe that literally the King James Bible is better than what it said in the Greek or the Hebrew and that people in today's world, you know, they need the Bible. They need to understand English to understand the Bible. They don't believe the Bible can really be translated into Spanish or Russian or these other languages. At least that's what a lot of the followers of Peter Ruckman do say. And so they have a weird view of King James only. But, you know, it's not just them that I've heard now uh, criticize Curtis Hudson, but I've also heard other IFB people say that Curtis Hudson was not King James only. And that kind of bewildered me because I've listened to a lot of Curtis Hudson sermons, and I've heard him very clearly be a King James only defender. And so what I've, I've tracked down is the reason why people say this is that because a long time ago when they were making the New King James Bible and they were trying to get a committee of IFB preachers, he was invited to be a part of that committee and he accepted that. Now, look, I can't speak on behalf of Curtis Hudson. I don't know why he accepted that invitation. What I do know is that there are a lot of Baptist pastors who were led to believe that what they were doing was just updating the spelling of some of the more archaic words in the King James Bible to their modern day spelling. That they weren't actually changing any words, but they're actually just changing the spellings into their modern day spellings. Because there's a lot of, of, of spellings in our King James Bible that are different today. And they're just spelled differently in today's world than they were you know, 400 years ago. And so this was something that was done in the 18th century. In the 1760s, I believe they made two different um, updates on the spellings of some of the words that had become archaic with their spelling. And so from what I understand, that's what some of the Baptist pastors believed was going to be taking place as well. And once they realized it was not the case, they got off the committee and didn't want to have anything to do with it. And so from my understanding, you know, that's Curtis Hudson was one of those people who he was on the committee, but he believed that they were just making updates to the spellings of words. He didn't actually believe that they're making changes to the Bible. Now, look, I, I don't know every single bit of Curtis Hudson's life, you know, from back when he was 17 years old or when he became King James only. And look, perhaps you could pull up something from, you know, 30 years before he died. And maybe he made a comment where he didn't really seem to understand the King James issue. But here's what I know. I've listened to a lot of sermons that he was King James only. And there's a famous clip on YouTube where he's singing, I'm on the winning side. And this is at a conference basically like six months before he dies. You know, he's dying of cancer. When he was younger, he was actually a very strong man. And, uh, you know, he actually, be, you know, lost a lot of weight. He became more frail. And he was at that conference. He sung that song. But what a lot of people don't realize is he followed up that song with one of his, his most famous sermons as well called Things That Are Different Are Not The Same. Things That Are Different Are Not The Same. Now, he covered a lot of different topics, but he, one of the topics he covered was the King James topic. And he talked about the King James versus the other versions. And he said things that are different are not the same. These things say different things. They mean different things. They're different Bibles. They're not the same. And so there's no question that when Curtis Hudson passed away, he was King James only. And so Curtis Hudson was very much a defender of the King James Bible at the end of his life. And look, I personally have never heard him say anything when he was younger that was like anti-King James only. But I can say this, that the King James topic has become a much bigger issue in today's world than it used to be. It used to be just by and large people use the King James Bible and every single Baptist did. So you didn't have to necessarily worry and study all these false versions to find out all of the errors. It's kind of like the flat earth topic. If you were to go back 20 years ago, you didn't really have to worry about trying to defend the fact that the earth is spherical. But in today's world, there's a lot of people that would say the earth is flat. It, it's something that's really catching on. So it's a topic that people are more aware about now and they have to be, and you have to have an opinion. There was a time period where you didn't really have to have an opinion on these other versions because nobody actually really read them. But now it's such an issue that you have to make a decision on what you believe about that. Now with Curtis Hudson, he very much made the decision he was a King James only guy. I've heard him preach it in sermons. He defended the King James. And if you don't believe me, I'll, I'll link the sermon below where he preached a sermon called Things That Are Different Are Not The Same. 
And, you know, from what I understand, this was his last public sermon that he preached, and he very much showed that he was a King James only guy. And so, look, you know, I, I can't necessarily speak for his entire life. Was he ever wrong on this topic, you know, when he was like 25 years old? Perhaps. Not that I'm really aware of. But just because he was on the committee, you know, that doesn't necessarily tell us why he was on that committee. And I've heard out of his own mouth that he was a King James only guy, that he very much defended the King James Bible. And so I just want to make this video because Curtis Hudson is my personal favorite preacher of the 20th century. And I've heard people say this, and it just kind of bugged me a little bit because Curtis Hudson was a great man of God. He was a zealous soul winner. And he's coming up on having passed away for, for 25 years now. And, and he was really someone who just stood up and really believed in soul winning. And he preached on soul winning. He believed in the King James Bible. And he was very clear on salvation. Thank you and God bless.